lead me where you want to go. Lead me, Lord, and I will follow. Show me what you want me to do for you. Send me out into the in all the things that touch your heart. I am yours, your hands and feet, the mouth you use to speak, the eyes you use to see. hands and feet, the mouth you use to speak, the eyes you use to see. Lead me where you want to go. Show me what you want me to do for you. Send me out into the world. I will share in all your sorrow and rejoice in all the things that touch your heart. hands and feet, the mouth you use to speak, the eyes you use to see. I am yours, your hands and feet, the mouth you use to speak. The song goes, lead me where you want to go. Lead me, Lord, and I will follow. Show me what you want me to do for you. Send me out into the world. I will share in all your sorrows and rejoice in all the things that touch your heart. I am yours, your hands and feet, the mouth you use to speak, the eyes you use to see. An example from today. I went out to get some dinner and the cashier, the Lord told me that they were one of the brethren. And I said to them, you're a Christian, aren't you? And they said, I'm a believer. And I said, I know the Holy Spirit is letting me know that about you. And it made the person's day. And they were like, I will keep that word with me all day. Thank you. Everybody wants to know if they're a true believer that the Lord is with them. It's like a, it's a gift the Lord has given me to know when somebody has the Holy Spirit within them. Now, conversely, when they don't have the Holy Spirit, that's something I can see as well. When there's a religious spirit and I don't do well around religious spirits. They're like choking. I feel like I'm being choked when I'm around them. It's uncomfortable, but there's lots of them. I went somewhere recently, and I mean, nobody knows anything about me. They don't assume that I hear from the Lord because I don't say anything. 
I just go about my father's business. I don't toot my own horn, but I'm very sensitive to the spirit. I'm very sensitive to my father, what he shows me, what he lets me feel. I'm very sensitive to the things of the spirit. And I was in a group recently professing Christians and with a small exception the love of the Father was not there there was a worldly religious spirit very clicky and it grieved my father the way I was treated grieved my father And when I left, the scripture that the Holy Spirit gave me regarding that situation, let the dead bury their dead. Professing Christians who do not have the love of God flowing through them. Sometimes the Lord will have me say something, and I've said things on occasion, but for the most part, I'm silent. I observe because I am the eyes he uses to see. The mouth he uses to speak, for the most part, exhortation. Earlier in my walk, when he had me doing street evangelism, he had me speaking a lot more. Now, he has me observing, and I take it straight back to him. Whatever I observe, I tell my father, and I ask him to handle it. Because if I see somebody that has got a religious spirit, you best be sure I ask God to let something happen in their life to humble them. I do, every time. God lets something happen so that they have to call out to you that they're humbled and that they have a change of heart. Because if you just let them go on keeping on, they're not going to change, and then they will perish. They may say, I'm a believer, but they're the ones who Jesus is going to spit out of his mouth. So I ask God, send your fire. I sure do. I did that recently. Send your fire. His fire cleanses the heart there may be some heart burn but ultimately new life springs forth when all the dead gross mean-spirited worldly stuff gets burned up what's left is a pure heart and that's what we need But I like being God's mouthpiece. I like exhorting people. I like going around and letting them know that God is with them. Or having a word of encouragement. I really enjoy that. I really enjoy that. It grieves our Father when his people do not love, though. It grieves our Father. You never know whether or not you're entertaining an angel, doesn't the scripture say that? You never know. That's why we are to be kind to the stranger. Something to think about. All right, God bless you.